All right, guys, so um, this is a follow-up video on these Bluteo UFOs. Now, I've actually been using these for probably the better part of a week or more, and uh, I wanted to give you a follow-up video on these because, you know, there, there's a lot going on with this particular uh, set of Bluetooths. Um, they have an eight-speaker setup, unlike other Bluetooth headphones, and you can definitely hear the difference in sound. Uh, now, how do they sound? What do they feel like? Are they comfortable? How's the battery life? Well, I'm going to talk about that in this video. And they come in this nice carrying case, by the way. Um, and, you know, I've been using these and, you know, it's time to give you a fair, honest assessment. So first, let's start with the obvious, which is the price. Now, some of you guys have said you can find these for about 70 bucks online. Some of you guys have actually had these for months. Uh, well, this is my first experience with these particular uh, headphones, uh, but I do have experience with Bluteo products, and Bluteo products are really good for sound quality, and the price is good. Now, these, from the link that I have, will cost you 130 bucks. A lot of you have said that you can find them for 70 bucks online, or just less than 130 bucks, and that's definitely where I would tell you to probably grab them. If you can get these at the lowest price you can get them at, always bargain shop, you know? Uh, but uh, these headphones are, um, they're good. So I'm going to start with, uh, you know, I started with price. Um, the price is kind of pricey for Bluetooth headphones. Uh, but I, I almost want to say you get what you pay for when it comes to the sound quality. But let's talk about sound quality because that's what's next. Now these uh, headphones are over the ear and they sound really, really good. Um, the fact that it says that it has eight speakers it's a good thing. I mean, because the sound quality coming from here is is pretty decent. It's it's really good. But when I think about the sound quality, um, I also think about comfort. Um, now, wearing these for an extended period of time should be pretty simple because I'm pretty sure my ears are bigger than some of you guys' ears, and these are very comfortable over-the-ear uh, headphones. Uh, but bass, treble, uh, mids, highs, everything is all there. And when it says it has an eight speaker setup in here, these have 50 millimeter drivers. So you're gonna get some, some really good premium sound uh, when, you, when you listen to these headphones. Uh, I'm not just saying that, these actually sound really, really solid. Uh, and as far as sound quality goes, I can definitely recommend them. Um, the next thing again is comfort. Uh, I definitely could wear these for a few hours. I've, I think the longest I've worn them uh, is a couple of hours and I didn't have any problems. The only issues I think I could run into was like sweating, you know, because I, I wear I wear headphones to the gym and, you know, I want to be comfortable at the gym. I don't want to have to be, you know, I don't have to be moving around my headphones. You know, it, it's just comfortable enough to wear at the gym for a couple of hours. Uh, and after that, you know, just sitting around the house, you probably won't feel the sweatiness and you probably wouldn't even go through all that. Um, but Comfort wise, I think you can probably get away from the get, get away with wearing these for a very long time um, And that's just the way I feel about them You could differ if you have a big head, you know, you might think these aren't that comfortable because they don't they don't stretch out too far uh, But if you don't have a really big head, you know, these might be really comfortable if your head's too small They might be a little awkward. I don't know uh, but so, you know sound and comfort they're there they sound fantastic to me and they're also very comfortable now when it comes to um to um build quality uh that's why they're lacking a little bit you know they're, they're lacking in the build quality because these feel i have premium headphones up on the headphone wall up there and these headphones right here have metal in them and and they feel so premium these feel like i can break them you know it just feels kind of weird they don't feel very sturdy at all and this has always been something with blue products that people really don't want to hear or you know they don't want to hear it but the companies that is because a lot of people have bought blue deal headphones and they cracked and broken because the plastic was really cheaply put together uh, and unfortunately i don't feel these are any exception um they sound like they sound cheap you know it's a whole bunch of noise and creaking and stuff going on now it's not like that when you put them on obviously you you put these on and you're good to go you know you don't you don't hear any kind of creaking or anything even when you're working out uh, I don't hear any kind of noises or anything however just having them sit around they just feel cheap uh, you know you can tell that there's a lot more plastic than metal the metal is kind of one little thin metal beam that goes through the center and that's it you know if I pull it out you can see that little thin piece of metal but it's just covering plastic and look how thick that plastic is compared to the metal 
So, you know, keep that in mind if you're deciding to purchase um, these headphones. Uh, the build quality is not the sturdiest, not the strongest, but if, you know, most people don't buy headphones for uh, the way they feel like in the hardware. They really want sound, and these excel in comfort and sound, which is the main thing. They got to feel good on your head for an extended period of time, and they have to sound fantastic, and it tackles those. It gets a 10 for those, or almost a 10, uh, 8.5 maybe, uh, but for for comfort and sound, about 8.5 for me. That's an official number, uh, so which is really high, you know. Uh, but as far as the build quality, it's kind of right in line with the other build quality from the other Bluteo products. And it's just really not that good high top quality. You know, and, I, and I say that, let me grab these off the headphone wall here. See, these are actually metal. That's It's real metal in these. And, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Just the the quality of these right here are not top notch. And, you know, again, you do get a beautiful carrying case. Uh, these just aren't a top notch set of headphones. Uh, you know, with that being said, though, you know, also another thing I didn't like was the way it looked. I don't, I picked the titanium color and it's like a chrome or something like that. It's not something I want to wear around in public. You know, I want to be as low key as possible. And these up here, I have some black ones hanging up here. I've got more headphones, but I just have these two up here because these are two of my favorites. Uh, and, you know, those are very subtle, you know, they're subtle. Uh, but these are here, this big chrome wearing on my head. Uh, but they do come in multiple colors. They come in uh, red, gold, black and red is actually probably the top color I would actually recommend. They come in white. They come in solid black. But the black and red, I didn't even see them at the checkout. Uh, this chrome color, uh, not my favorite. And these will only be worn around the house. I don't feel comfortable wearing these in public. You know, they draw too much attention. That's not what I want to do. Uh, however, um, you know, uh, you know, I think it's a, a, a pretty decent set of headphones. Well, again, and again, headphones need to excel in, in sound quality and comfort, but they also have to look good. So uh, with that being said, you know, these, these get a pass. You know, they're not the best looking headphones. They don't have the best build quality, but they have a beautiful, the box is beautiful. This, this is a premium box, you know? This is a premium case that they come in, so what can you do? Sound quality and comfort, these definitely get a pass. Uh, and um, the build quality and the price, uh, not so much. Uh, but it's your man, Jay Will. Uh, this is a follow-up video on the Blue Deal UFOs. For those that have them, I know you're going to tell me that I missed something. Well, I didn't. Uh -huh. Battery life. You shouldn't have to charge these. And I, I, didn't, I didn't really want to focus on it too much, but I think you already know the answer to this. But the battery on these, it should last you a good month or more. You know, I haven't charged these things since I had them. I charged them when I first got them out of the box, and that was it. And they have not been charged since. And I don't foresee them dying anytime soon based on my other Bluio products. They last for months in, you know. So, uh, if you're Jay Will, go ahead and leave a comment down below. What do you think about these? Uh, would you wear these? Do you, do you, if you have them, do you like them? I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.